Hi, my name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create those long, soft, translucent shadows in After Effects. And as a bonus, I will show you how you can animate multiple of these shadows at once. It's a very fast and very easy technique and it looks great. So let's dive right in. First create a new comp with Ctrl N, the settings don't matter, and a new solid with Ctrl Y, the color doesn't matter either. Now search for the effect gradient ramp and drop it onto the solid. In the effect controls set the ramp shape to radial ramp and swap the colors so white is on top. Then select a slightly darker gray for the end color. Now that our foundation is set we can start building the effect. First we need an object that we want to have a shadow. In this case I just choose a text layer, but you can apply the same technique to shape layers or even to PNG images with a transparent background. Press Ctrl T for the text tool and type your text. When you're finished hit Ctrl Enter to leave the text tool. This is a shortcut I only learned recently and it saves so much time. If you want you can align the text in the center using the align panel. Now go to the timeline, select the text layer and hit Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. Drag the new text layer under our first text and rename it so you can keep track of which layer does what. This layer will be our shadow so change the font color to black because shadow are usually black you know. Now search for the effect CC Radial Fast Blur and drag it to the shadow layer. You can see the effect immediately, but stick around to see how you can customize it and save time animating it. In the effect controls panel there's this little crosshair icon next to the center property. This indicates the center of the effect which influences the direction of our shadow. Click it and position the crosshair wherever you want. The shadow now points in a different direction. You can also click and drag this little dot right here, which you can think of as the light source in this case, to move the shadow. We can further tune the look of the shadow to our liking. The amount control in the blur effect changes the length of the shadow. The darkness of the shadow can be controlled by lowering the opacity of the shadow layer. And if you want to change the color of the shadow, you can just change the color of the shadow layer. In this case, we can do it by simply changing the font color. So now we have a shadow that we like, but how can we animate it? The easiest way would be to just animate the center property of the fast blur. And it works fine when you only have one shadow, but it gets complicated really quickly when you have more than one layer that shall cast a shadow. I prepared a scene here with two objects. Right now the shadows are independent from each other, which can look pretty goofy. So to make it seem as if all shadows react to the same light source, we can create a light controller. For the light controller we first need a null object. Right click down here and select new null object. Rename it to light controller. Open the position property by hitting P on the keyboard. Now go into both of the shadow layers and under effects find the center property of the radial blur. Grab the little pick whip here and drag it onto the position value of the null object. Now the center of the effect is linked to the position of the null. Repeat that for all shadow layers, et voila. Now the center of all blur effects follows the position of the null. That means more flexibility and less keyframes. That's it for this tutorial. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and if you are interested in more tutorials and reviews all around filmmaking, check out the other videos on my channel. Should there be any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.